following video is guaranteed to be terrible. Hello, I am Jamie Oliver. Thanks for, uh, this is not gonna be cooking. I'm in the kitchen, but I'm not gonna be cooking. I'm just in the kitchen because I've got the whole flat to myself and there's light, there's natural daylight and it's a, it's a, I've got a nice top I can talk to you at. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of an unboxing and review of this. I've got two of these. Uh, these are uh, CN160 LED video lighting kits. Color temperature 5600K, 5.6K to 3.2K. Um, super uber disgusting cheap uh, on Amazon. I bought two of them and with each kit comes a, uh, a little tripod kit. I've got another one down here which I've already opened but I'll show you this. And two tripod kits. Because they're both the same I'm only going to open uh, one of them. And I very much hope, in fact, I, I beg that you enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Then let's start, shall we? Start, let's, should we start with a tripod? I know you're waiting to see the light, but let's let's start with a tripod. Which is, I know this is in here because I've ordered two of these. Because um, I think they come in. I think, uh, they come as a two pack actually. I think the whole price for these was forty five pounds. For, might have been in the thirties, but I mean you're, you're talking so cheap. So there's the box. I need that. Here's a little bag, don't need that, and here's the tripod. Now, the first thing I observe about this is it's got, it's, it, it does have the screws and everything in it, and this is metal, uh, and these are screws, not rivets, I'm glad to say, is that although they are screws, they are, it is metal screwed into plastic. This is a plastic uh, section there. But you know what, does it matter? That's plastic as well there. This is plastic. In fact, all the joins are plastic, hence the price, of course. So there's, there's the tripod. I mean, it's, it's, t it's a tiny little thing. And it will go to the sort of, let's see how high it will go. Oh, is that it? <laughs> there you go, that's the full length of your tripod. Uh, this is designed to go on tabletops. Um, I, I actually love it. I also, oh, like there's a rivet there, which I immediately don't like. I don't like seeing aluminium rivets, I've got to tell you. If I unscrew this at the end here, what is good about this? First of all, uh, you need to keep that plastic thing because this here is an attachment, and this is all aluminium by the looks of things. This is an attachment here that would be used for um, for putting lights on, proper pucker lights. Whereas this here could be used to attach um, anything that requires a tripod. That's just a, a tripod screw in. But if you start banging lights on here, you're going to start damaging the thread. So it's a good idea to keep these little plastic caps. Um, but you know, it's not a perfect world and we do tend to lose things quite easily. Okay, so that's the tripod, let's put that aside and let's bring out the, the light. Here's, here is, I, th I, I presume it's the light, it's got a picture of a light on it. Uh, as I say, it's the CN160 LED video lighting. It's, it's got a website on here, uh, www.newer.com. I got them on Amazon. Um, but I don't know, you can go there if you like. I, made in China, as, as ever. I, I wouldn't particularly recommend it. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not being paid to advertise this stuff, by the way. So I'm opening them up on a little foam block. Um, and, ooh! It's, uh, that's a casing for a battery, that's interesting. The light itself, in cellophane. And here, we have some instructions and a little silver pouch, which is quite intriguing. I'm just going to look at the silver pouch first of all. I quite like this. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? So there's another pouch there. And in here we have, I have one orange, I think I'm missing. Ah, no, it's on the light. It's on the light already. I thought I was missing a, um, a filter. I guess you'd call this a filter. I, I, I don't know if it's graded, if it's actually got like a, a particular number to it. It's a diffuse and filter in one. And that lives in there. I think that's quite nifty actually. I quite like that. Cool. So let's look at the light. Put that to the side and keep that there because that's probably going to come into action very shortly. Get rid of this horrible cellophane. It's like when you get toffee, toffee apples in. And here is the Z light. Ooh, that is intriguing. Sorry, I'm not sharing with you what I'm discovering. So um, let's start at the front. Here is the other filter which slides off. Um, this acts as a diffuse um, and a filter. The effect of that is, of course, that it will uh, get rid of hard shadows. 
Um, I don't think that would be enough. I would probably put some diffuse paper on top of that. Some, um, uh, I call it diffuse. Uh, other people call it frosting, which uh, which which is. Uh, oh, the, now the first thing I'm noticing about this is how how plasticky it is. It really is uh, shoddy, shoddy. Um, but you know you're paying for that. You you you. That's what you're buying. And more intriguing is this battery compartment here. So this little door lifts off and inside here you have the setup for one, two, three, four, five, six AA batteries can go in there. Or you've got the plug-ins there for putting in uh, one of the bigger batteries which I'll just go and find. So I found one. This is um, this is this is uh, my um, this is what I put in my lights. This is a DV nine seventy uh, seven point two uh, volt six six zero zero mega amps per hour. Is it? I don't know. Now that should fit in there. Turn around this way. I think that will fit in there. Ooh. And lo and behold, it does indeed fit in there. So that's the battery plugged in. The batteries don't come with the kit. You have to buy them separately. And really. Um, the only control you've got after that, I don't want to blind you up at that one in a second. The, the only control you have after that is uh, you have something called test here, which isn't doing anything. In fact, nothing's happening. What's happening? Why is that? Is this the wrong type of battery? Oh my god, you can actually put another type of battery. This will take three types of batteries, although this one doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Am I supposed to do something? Or is it four types of batteries including this one? This is so intriguing. So, I'm not sure what these batteries are, but they're probably standard. You, you might know. So, I was que querying this earlier, wasn't I? Now, this looks like the battery like for a Sony camera or something like that. And that, does that sit in, does that sit in there? Honestly, I can't work it out for love or money. It does, doesn't it? That just sits there. That sits there and enables you to put another battery unit in there. And that, that's fascinating. Fascinating. So, at the minute, this isn't working for me though. What am I doing wrong? Alright, well obviously I'm going to have a little bit, have a bit of a play with this because I've got an, a, a deficient light here currently. I'm going to try it with the uh, I'm going to try it with the other batteries here. That's so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, six double A's. Let's give that a go. Right. I think it's official. I have a broken lamp here. This does not work. This is a, a broken one. So just to test the theory, I'm going to get the other one out of the other box. Finally managed to get this working, I think. So there's the batteries in the back there. We've got the switch at the side, which I, I'm just going to switch on. And there you have it. You see how hard the shadow is on the wall here? I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of soft, but if I take this off here, you'll see how hard that will probably get quite harsh. It's kind of not much different, is it? Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Just blinded myself. What do you think? You impressed? You impressed, you mean? Good backlight, perhaps? Good light for a green screen? Light and green screen, general light? Uh, if you're wondering, I, he's knocking uh, batteries onto the floor. If you're wondering, these, these lights don't connect together, that I can see, apart from if you wanted to connect them together somehow by, by using a magic arm. But um, that's a huge shame. I wonder if I actually just put the, the batteries in it wrong. Should I? It's possible I didn't put the double A's in right, and it's possible that I put the wrong battery in the back. So it could be me, it could be operator error. Uh, I am a bit stupid. The other thing I probably should talk about is my impression 
of um, I'm, I'm, I'm always really wary. This is the, the weak link. This is the where the camera connects to a tripod, and you've got like uh, you've got the capability for it to slot. It's got the little shoe there for it to slot into what used to just be a flash mount on on DSLRs. I can just demonstrate that. Here's here's my 60D. That, that will slot in there. In fact, should I just show that off? I have a gig coming up soon, and it's it's only a small gig, it's about a grand's worth of work, and that is quite cool. So I've got, but I've still got this light. I've made another video about this light. If you go and flick around, you'll find it. I'm sure. I, I, I probably won't put a link because I'm too lazy. But um, that that is quite good. A little interview light. It's fitted onto the shoe. Uh, fine. The uh, thing I would say about these is that this is cheap, as I've just demonstrated by it not working. Though I do think that might have been my fault. Uh, this. Oh, there, there's the test is now working. Look. It says it's gone red. I don't know if red, is red bad. Uh, that is so bright. So back to the shoe. Um, I'm never mad keen on metal stuff being um, molded into plastic. I think that that is always a risk because um, the metal will win every time and if you were to tighten that too much as you might do under the pressure of doing some filming uh, you will find that you'll just, you'll just uh, thread it. Also I'm noticing that this is um, it's like a ratchet sort of there for angling that is ratcheted now I can almost guarantee that ratchet will be plastic um, that will wear out in time and it will literally become just something to grip with beyond that this um, you do just have like a little almost like a GoPro connector here so you could start attaching this to like GoPro uh, mounts uh, if you wanted to which is slightly more professional um, this is a plastic uh, screw here on a plastic thread so that's not going to be very, so you can't force that too much. There is a, a metal inside that is a, a metal thread for the tripod. Um, but again, that's mounted into plastic. So you're always limited by what by, by the, the chain of materials used to make the thing uh, work. Um, that, th this will not stand the test of time. I will have to be super careful with this at all times. And uh, basically once I've mounted on something, I'll probably very rarely remove it. Um, I don't know if I can demonstrate that for you. I don't really have a. Ah, oh, well, I could use. Well, I used the tripod that came with it. So uh, th these are the, the again the cheap and cheerful tripods that came with these cheap and cheerful lights for cheap and cheerful me. Um, I mean, I, I do do this for a living. I'm a I'm a professional producer director, but I do enjoy um, how kit is becoming so domestically available to everyone, and it opens it up for YouTube and YouTubers or YouTube creators as, as, as YouTube likes to call them, I don't. Uh, it just opens up the whole world uh, for people to get creative, as creative as possible, and, and af a, a, an affordable amount of money. I mean, it will go full circle. I think people will start, um, so there, there it is, by the way, that's it. The whole thing mounted on the tripod there. Uh, maximum height. Let me just pull the camera back a bit so you can see the whole shot. Oh, ah, see, I need to tighten that too much there. All right, so there, there it is. There's the whole light. It's, um, I think it's pretty cool. It's really, really simple. It's really basic. It's small, but that's the maximum height you're going to get out of that stand. That stand, I don't think, is going to be able to take much more light than this little fella here. And uh, obviously, I'm like super overexposed because I put that camera onto manual. Uh, but um, I don't. Oh, don't care. Oh, just check that out here. Ah, there you go. I just wanted to make sure that the feet could actually be clear of this intersection there, because it wasn't there a second ago. So there you go, maximum height. I think that is maximum height. This looks like it might have another connector here, but it doesn't. That is the maximum height you will get out of this. So I definitely something to go on the table, or um, I don't know where else you would put that, unless or, 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 for, or for small people, if you only want to film small people. You could do a lot of bouncing off ceilings, which is a good way to get really soft light. It's just to bounce everything off a wall or a ceiling. But yeah, I'm kind of apart from that one didn't work. But as I say, I think that is my mistake. I don't think it's their mistake. I'm pretty happy with that. And we all know it's garbage, right? But it's 35 quid. What do you want? You know, you're gonna you're gonna make hundreds of videos with this, uh, and you you and hopefully you'll have made enough money to maybe buy some more professional kit as you go down the line. You 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 work to what you can afford. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. I've got a, another, a couple of other channels. I've got a vlogging channel where I run around with my camera. In fact, I was vlogging just before this kit just arrived. Uh, I've also got a gaming channel called Fluctibus Gaming. Uh, I do a lot of Twitch streaming. I do it when I can. And I do make little episodic 
um, games where I do my hilarious commentary. Oh, and finally, I've also got a podcast, but maybe maybe subscribing to my podcast as well as everything else is a little bit too much to ask. I'm sure you've got other stuff you want to do with your life. But thanks for watching this. Uh, I've been Fluctibus Flood. I'm on Twitter, at Fluctibus Flood, if you want to follow me or send me a message. It'd be great to hear from you. Thanks, take care, and go and watch some more videos.